My name is Mark Gorman and I'm currently a Global Ambassador for HelpAge. Uh, formerly um, I was Policy Director and Director of Strategy and uh, for um, many years a, a Deputy CEO. I worked for HelpAge for 30 years from 1988. I think the organisation changed, it changed in many ways, but I think the key change that it made was in recent years to really fulfil its uh, ambition to become uh, a global network of organisations, which had been its vision, vision of the founders from the very early years, um, but was never really fulfilled um, effectively until, I think, um, recent times. HelpAge's policy evolved over the years uh, through a number of different strands and one in particular was the development of an understanding that um, to genuinely uh, enable older people, to genuinely empower older people, it was important to give them uh, a, a source of income, a source of resources, uh, material resources that they could use um, and that they would use for the benefit, not only their own benefit, but the benefit of their community. And out of that understanding, out of that sort of um, analysis, we began to work on the idea of social protection, of social pensions for older people, of universal pensions. The work that HelpAge has done in, humanita in the humanitarian field um, has grown hugely with our understanding of how older people and need support in emergencies and what they can do for themselves. I think in our very early years we made the assumption that we were doing things for older people. Um, but one of the, the experiences that I think we gained over many years working in many different emergencies was that it's, um, it's better by far to use the experience of older people. And for example, the number of older people's organisations that have been set up um, in refugee situations, I think is a testament to uh, how we've learned to work with older people in those situations and not just work for them. I think one of the one of the Help Age's greatest achievements is to have grown its network from the original five members to uh, nearly 200 members today. Um, and not only grown the network, but grown a network of active um, organisations working, many working at community level with older people. And that's a huge achievement over the last 40 years. I would like to say the world has changed hugely for the better for older people in the 40 years of Help Ages history. I don't think we can claim that, but I think we can claim that the issue of ageing has come onto the development agenda in a way that it certainly wasn't there in the 1980s. And I think Help Age, while it wasn't the only player involved in that, can claim a huge role in um, introducing ageing onto agendas at the global level and at the national level um, in, um, uh, in a variety of forms, the UN, WHO and a government level. The difference that it makes to have ageing on the agenda is that once it becomes part of the policy portfolio of a government or an international organisation, um, it becomes something that is picked up at um, in terms of uh, uh, policy development, and strategy, but it's also picked up at a practical level. So that if we take an example, the example of social protection, that that was, um, wasn't even on the agenda, the radar of any government in the late 1990s. By the 2020s, a number of governments in Africa and Asia have not only introduced it as a policy promise, but also actually implemented social protection programs. And I think that the hard work of HelpAge at a technical level and at a policy making level has been a huge contributor to that. I'm confident of the future of HelpAge. I think it's come through some very rocky times, not least in recent years. 
but I think that it's come through stronger and I think it's now an organisation which does have a clear direction. It won't be easy, but uh, I think the next um, few years we'll see hopefully a strengthening of uh, both the global partnerships with the network and also the global teams who work uh, with network partners. But I think that's been a real um, an important development in Help Ages history in recent years. And one that I, th I think that Leslie Kirkley, the, uh, the original chairman who had the first vision of Help Age International, would entirely have approved of. That was his idea. That was his, uh, his vision for the future, was seeing a global network um, supported by a global network of, um, of professional staff. And I think HelpAge is not there yet, but it's certainly on that path.